Hey guys, Phil here. Ramya here. <laughs> and I'm with a camel. Here, you can have this. Oh, thank you. We both saw How's That this weekend. Yes. Um, so, overall view, what did you think? Short, succinct, what did you think? I liked it. That's succinct. I loved it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was witty. And it was a really good production. I thought it had potential. I thought it was funny, but could have been a lot better. Um, I thought the script was left something to be desired, um, and I thought the direction was missing, but the performances were good. So let's go piece by piece. Okay. Performances. Let's start there. They're so funny. It was okay. witty. Um, the you know I love the interaction between the characters. You know. Their chemistry was good. The performances yeah. were good. The night I saw, I saw it the first night. You saw it the second night. Yep. Yes. So uh, Thursday and then Friday. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of first night issues. It was dragging, um, and so I think the energy wise uh, for the cast, the energy was down, and that was affecting a number of things. Mm. Um, there's some lines that were kind of being a little bit missed. Now that's um, almost forgivable, but it's just it affected everything else. So the performances were good, but there were other mm. things going on. Um, I enjoyed the ping pong section, you know, the ping pong part where there were um, parallel conversations happening at both ends of the of the stage. I thought that yeah, was so really they had great. a far stage the left and a far stage far right, right. Um, happening. So that's yeah. a, a direction thing. So let's go into direction then. Right. Um, I really felt that there were moments which were good in it that I think it was much more of the script than it was the direction because the direction seemed lacking to me. There was mm. a lot of odd blocking. There's a lot of um, pieces that just felt over the top. There are a lot of things that felt subdued that could have been brought out. It was um, a mix all over. And then it was never sure of how comedic or how um, dramatic it wanted to be at certain moments. And that was what I got from it. It's, and again, a lot of that can come back to some dragging issues and pacing issues. Well, I thought, the, I thought in terms of uh, the pacing, I thought it was it was um, it was suitable for the kind of a play you know for for this kind of play um, because I think when it's comedic uh, you need to have these moments where there is like the snap 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 and for sure. you know like I don't know which I makes thought, it sound like you got different pacing than I did because yeah. the one thing I I was adamant about was that it needed to pick up a lot more and it mm. sounds like because it picked up a lot of the things were corrected but I, I don't know because I didn't see it, but it sounds like the pace was actually adequate your night, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't find that an issue at all. Okay, uh, yeah. script then, let's go to that. It was really, there were some really funny lines there. I love the references to Dubai. Um, I love even the Daisy references because they yeah. were Daisy, but not too Daisy for a non-Daisy not to get it. So, you know, and, uh, and I, I liked it. I thought yeah. there, were, there were some really funny lines in there. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that part was true, though. Guy. The references were quite understandable. The, um, the Daisy references were um, easy enough for most people to understand yeah. that are not Daisies. Um, Absolutely. And so that was good. And I do think that there were good, funny, well-written, very intelligent lines. But right. I felt like I was watching two plays. Um, Script-wise, there was this funny, intelligent play going on. And then there was also every other, every other joke was also just cliched and or a forced reference, and I'll come back to that in a second, but um, it was just, it was like I was watching one that was well-written and then another part that was just like a, that joke sounds like it was written by a high schooler. Where is this coming from? Like, and then forced moments that were just so, someone described it to me as saccharine sweet, and I think that that's actually an accurate kind of assessment. It was just right. so over-the-top sweet or over-the-top and unnecessary. That's not my style, and maybe that's affecting me more, but really it just seemed very very forced and the 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 com sorry that the um the, that that uh, th those references were just some of them i understand they, they need to be there but they're forced to like every other second and you can have a play built around references and still be funny without having it go reference 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 give, give me a narrative there was no narrative what do you mean? There was a story. Barely, yes, there was a story, was but a it story wasn't much. About, you know, I don't want to ruin it, but you know, there's a story. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the point: is that you could ruin it by just saying one bit, because that's the, that's it. No. Yes. No. Okay, we're not going to agree on that point, but okay. Um, 
a direction. Blah, 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 blah. Can what? I make a pregnant comment or is this a spoiler? Uh, it's probably a spoiler. Okay. No one. Pregnancy, nothing. No, nothing. nothing. Just, uh, yeah. Stagecraft, production. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, stagecraft and production. What did you think of uh, that side of it? Um, I thought that was really, uh, that was good. I thought the fact that the stage was split right in the middle between two homes meant that they didn't have to do a lot of set changes. And usually that was intelligent. That, and that was very intelligent because sometimes set changes can be distracting. Yes. And so in this case, it was just perfect. And they cut know? pace and momentum. And, yeah. and that, that, that was why I found it funny that pace was dragging a lot of times because they actually had the right things going on for that. And as stagecraft wise, I have to say there was a lot of things that showed potential and were good, but just didn't reach that level. Um, so lighting, for instance, I saw a lot of uh, merit to what was being, being done lighting, but it just wasn't brought to that right level or sometimes the seems slightly off in cues. But I thought, I thought the lighting really worked because even when they were trying to project different times of days, um, the lighting would warm up for sunset. And yeah. I thought that really worked. And also, for example, the fireworks <coughs> me. Um, that happened at some point, you know, I believe that there were fireworks actually happening. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that was a good The rain, moment. I felt that they were actually, you know, under the rain, I don't know. I'm not one for the kind of fake stand moments and, and have things happening around you or reaching out for doorknobs, but that's me. <laughs> uh, but it was, it, was an, it was an okay moment. Yep. Um, and I agree that some stagecraft elements were good. I just thought that they could have, uh, there could have been more brought out of it. For me, there was actually a dead spot in lighting on the stage that may have been corrected actually by the second night. Um, but there was a dead spot on the stage where I lost a lot of the actors' expressions if they were in that particular spot, uh, particularly because Deepak goes there a number of times. Um, Deepak, who plays um, the uh, the Indian uh, man, um, Gwarav. Gwarav makes it sound like a, a, a fruit. God, okay, that, that just shows my uh, terrible, Gaurav, yeah, Gaurav. Gaurav. Yeah. Um, okay, I, I think overall assessment. For me, How That was a play with a lot of potential, um, and it could have brought a lot of people into the theater scene here. Um, I just think it fell a little bit flat, but it was also one not to miss if you because um, there's a lot of good references for the Daisy crowd and a lot of good references for the Dubai crowd in general. Um, if they do bring it back, I actually think it will have a lot of, um, it could do very well if it's brought back and given a little more um, direction, a little more time to rehearse possibly. I enjoyed it. I thought a lovely surprise was the beginning um, for live performances that were happening. Oh, actually, I couldn't stand that. Oh, my God. That just it it, it set it off in an, so it different. set it off in an We're amateur so different. it set it off in an amateur direction right from the beginning. I'm sorry we brought in something at the end of this, but yeah, that killed me. I thought the performance was good. Please don't get me wrong, he but was that good. Was perfect. But it just didn't it didn't it what why why what because okay. they were singing songs relevant to sorry them. we need to wrap it up okay. we're gonna keep finding things we're gonna keep finding things I loved it. do you have any okay she I loved it. it i thought it had merit i thought it had potential but that's our uh, extended review of how's that um if you like us if you don't like us um let us know <laughs> if you agree with us tell us what you think um so thanks guys i'm phil love you <laughs> bye